What's up guys, my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out WP Content Pilot Pro. So what WP Content Pilot Pro does, it grabs content from other places and it posts automatically on WordPress. So once you finish setting it up, it's going to do everything on autopilot and start posting everything automatically to the time that you set it to. Now, right now, there's a great deal going on. It's 39 bucks, and I think it's a great deal because before this, I was paying 30 bucks per site and in this case, I get to pay $39 for four or five sites, or I can do the add on the stacking codes and get more sites from that. Now, if you guys want to grab this deal, the link will be in the description. It's an affiliate link. It gives you a small commission and it won't cost you one cent more. Helps me out, grab these deals and make videos for you guys. Now, 39 bucks, what does it give you? So right here, you got the deal. So 39 bucks gives you five sites, $78 gives you 10 sites. $117, 15 sites, and if you go max out on four codes, you get unlimited sites. So that's really, really attractive if you're using this. Now you're probably saying, hey, you know what? I don't want to steal content from other places. I know there's a lot of people that don't do that. I don't do that. But there's so many use cases for this that I'm going to show you right now. Now what you can do with WP Content Pilot, before we head on over to the dashboard and show you how it works you got all these options to grab content from. So let's just say, hey, you know what? You are already posting affiliate content from Amazon. Well, you can pull that and post it with your affiliate link. So you're not actually trying to steal the content. I mean, you're not trying, it's not something that's written custom for someone. It's something that you wanna sell and it's a win-win situation for three of you, right? So you as an affiliate, Amazon because it's selling and the seller from Amazon. So the three people are winning with this. So you're not actually trying to steal the content. You're actually trying to make from it. All right. Another another one is like, for example, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Now, all of those, you can auto post your own content. So let's just say I'm making this video, right? So I'm making this video, but I wanted to auto post on my WordPress site. Well, that is possible with this plugin. So there's so many use cases that it's gonna depend what you wanna use it for. You got the option to grab content from other places or you can grab your own content or use affiliate content. Now, let's head on over to the actual dashboard. This is my WordPress site and these are the, the ones I've already created. And the first thing I recommend is that you head on over to settings. Now, heads up, settings are not that straightforward. It's not like I'm just going to add Amazon and I'm, I'm ready to go. No, you got to head on over and grab the API. Same goes for YouTube and all of those. And I'm just show you a quick example. I haven't set up, for example, eBay, right? So it's asking for the app ID and the campaign ID. Um, Another one that I haven't set up is SoundCloud. The reason I'm showing you these because I don't want to blur out my my API codes. SoundCloud is asking for the client API. So you get the, the uh, tutorials right here. You just go here, for example, here, and it's going to tell you what you have to do. So, all right, so you go head on over to the side, and this is what you're going to do, and you grab it. I mean, I, all I'm trying to say is not is you don't create it, and it's ready to go. So you have to do a little bit of settings. So once you got your settings done for the for the ones you want to use, you're ready to go to add a brand new one. So let's add a brand new one. And I'm going to show you what this looks like and what you can do. So first thing you would call it, you call this a campaign. So let's just say uh, feed, right? And you select what campaign type this is. So based on the campaign type that you select, it's the options that you're going to have down here. So for example, if I change this to Envato, so Envato has these, so this changed. And if I click on eBay, See how they start modifying because it's asking for different different type of things. And for example, like I said, you got Amazon, you got articles. So articles, it will search it. I'm not sure where it grabs it from, but I created one just to show you guys. And I'm going to do that test for you. You got Best Buy. So if you got an affiliate link from Best Buy, you can grab the content there and start posting it with your affiliate link. You got CareerJet, ClickBank, Craigslist, eBay, Envato, Ezine, Facebook, Feed. Feed, anything that has an RSS feed, you can grab it from there. You got Flickr, Instagram, iTunes, Pinterest, Quora, Reddit, SoundCloud, Twitter, Walmart, and YouTube. So you got all those. And once you start adding these, for example, I'm going to show you um, one of the basic ones. I'm going to show you, for example, Amazon, right? So Amazon, what you would do is keywords that you want to search for in Amazon. So for example, if I want to search... Let's just say my site is about selling cameras, all right? So keywords would be camera, Nikon, Lumix, Sony, um, so on and so forth, right? So you put them there. 
content type, HTML or plain text. If you just want to grab test plain, you can do that or HTML, which will grab like bold, italic, anything that you find in the WordPress site, you could, oh, sorry, on the site, you can grab it from there. You can use the first image as a featured image. So it will download it and it'll put it as a featured image on WordPress automatically. So you don't have to go back and add your own image there. You can remove all images from the article. So let's just say there's an article that has like 10 images and you just want to put the text, you remove that and it'll take away the images. But if you don't, it'll post the images right as it would be in the article. You got use summary as an accept. I'm not sure what that is. Remove hyperlinks found in the, in the articles. You can remove links that are found there in case you want to do that. So let's just say there's a whole bunch of links from other places where you're grabbing the articles from. You can remove those. Allow comments. So WordPress has that option to for let people to comment. You can remove that. Allow pinbacks. Use original post date. So in case you don't want to use the one the date that when it's posted, you can grab the post date from the original post. Um, use post with duplicate title. So in this case, if it finds the same post later on, it'll do, it'll post it again. And if you tick, if you don't leave it off, it'll won't re, it won't repeat it. Skip post if no image found in the article. So if there's no images, don't even post it, right? All right, and this is where the magic starts. So you can see post title, you can set these and you got the options right here, template tags. So you can customize how the title would be or you can even add your own title right here, like saying, you know what? Every title should say SAS master and then the title that it grabbed from over there, right? Post template. Let's just say, you know what, it's already, it's a grab, it's grabbing price, brand, model, features, and source URL content, and all that. You can remove these, you can replace these, you can add your own HTML right here to make it a little bit nicer, or you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So for example, you know what, I don't want to put the price in. Well, just remove it from here. Post type, is it going to be posting in the post? Is it going to create a page or a project? Status, do you want to set it publish, private, draft, or pending? So depending, if you got everything set up and you think it's right, you just head over, I want it to be published. Or maybe I just want to be checking it out if it's all right, so I leave it as pending and then I'll make it manually published. Categories, you can set categories right here. Custom categories if you want to add them. You got tags, custom tags, post author. So in this case, I only added these two right here. So in case you want to add another author, you can do that there. Um, advanced settings, you got limit title. So if it's too long, you can limit it, limit content, word count, uh, required words, branded words, translate to. So you can translate to any language. Obviously, you have to set up first the API for Google to so actually translate it. Custom meta, you can add your meta key and meta value right here. You can search and replace. So what this would do is, I mean, I don't know. There's so many use cases, but you can replace words. So let's just say you're grabbing content um, from Amazon, right? And you want to replace everything that says Amazon with SaaS master, right? Or whatever the page is called. This is just an example. So if it finds that word, it's going to replace it with another one. I don't know. Helps out with branding or whatever you want to do. So there's so many things that you can do. What I don't like about this and they should have it because other ones do have it is that they should have the content spinner. Now for the use case of that is for people who grab content from other places or even if you grab it from like Amazon affiliate and you just don't want it to be exactly the same. Well, you need a content spinner to change some words. That That's something that people might look for, especially if you want to grab content from other places. I don't know. That could be something, right? So once you have all that set up, you got campaign target. So how many posts? Campaign frequency, so one hour to 24 hours. So how frequently do you want to do this? And readability score. So there's a minimum readability score that it detects if you want to use it, right? And if it doesn't follow that like minimum, it'll, it won't post it. If not, you can create campaign and you're ready to go. Now, let me show you what that looks like. So let me go to all campaigns. Let's abandon this. And there's a draft that's disabled. All right, so I have these active and you can see I've been creating some. So for example, YouTube, I've been creating some YouTube ones. There's Instagram, there's Envato, there's feed. Let me open this feed really quickly. YouTube and Instagram, yeah. All right, so this is one of, of the ones I already created. So I'm grabbing videos from my channel for this testing purpose. And I said target five every four hours and it's active. 
and I don't care about the readability score. So I'm going to test run this to show you how it's going to grab the content and I'm going to open that page right now. So what it's going to do in this case, every four hours, it's going to post a video of mine. So it's already created post successful. Let's go over there. And this is the video I created. So there's the image it grabbed. There's the video and there's a description that's in the video and at the end source. So you can see that right there. It grabbed the content. Now, if you guys want to check out fast pages, go check out my videos. All right. So what it did, it grabbed it like I showed. So to see embedded HTML, the content and the source. If I don't want to put the source URL, like in this case, it's my video. I don't have to. They already ha they already can click on my video. So it just depends what you want to do. And you can even add more things. If you don't want to say source, you can say something else like, you know what? Check video, right? Source whatever and you save that there's also this other campaign for example this is a feed campaign tech crunch in this case i'm using it for testing purpose i don't want to grab their content but let's just grab it for this all right so i'm going to test run it in this case i'm grabbing a feed so anything that's in the feed it's going to grab it for me so let's check it out it's creating it and there it is so it grabbed this feed from tech crunch so it grabbed Amazon, will establish a new headquarters from blah, blah, blah. There's the content and you're ready to go, right? In this case, it did double image. So what I would do is I would edit here so it doesn't put the image or doesn't say like full image. In this case, I said fetch full content. If I didn't, then it won't grab the whole thing. It just says how many words I want to use. So I think it's a really great plugin so you can grab content from your content or from affiliate content to fill out your site so it doesn't look empty you got some things going on and it doesn't it does it on autopilot if you want to so once it's set up you're ready to go and you can use this like i said i've been paying before for the sites that i needed 30 bucks per each site that i that i bought so that's a lot of money compared to what i could pay here having the unlimited sites i'm ready to go and i don't have to keep buying it for other sites so I think it's a great buy if you guys need something like this or could use something like this. Like I said, there's a lot of use cases. It's going to depend on what you want to use it for. So it starts off at 39 bucks. Having five sites, five sites at least, it's a must because I know someday you're going to use something like this. Even as like I did, like just post my YouTube videos on my um, WordPress sites. Every time I upload one, it's a great, great benefit for me. I don't have to do it manually and go to my WordPress site and create that post for me. So it does it automatically. So that's pretty cool. Well, all right, guys, I got, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you give it a thumbs up, it really helps out. If you comment what you think, that really helps out also. Remember, there's an affiliate link in the description. It won't cost you one single cent more, and it helps me out to buy these products, test them out for you, and make this video for you guys. Like I said, I really like it compared to what I've been paying. It's a good plugin. It's really flexible. And there is some downsides, downsides like I told you that um, it's a little bit of complex setting up and it doesn't have that, what do you call it, spinner, just in case you guys are looking for that. So it doesn't have that. They say they're going to add it. It's in the roadmap. So that's a good news. All right, guys. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.